Chris and I are back to answer some more questions. Uh, I'm George Gatesy, a lead programmer and uh, co-founder of Balago Studios. And I'm Christian Tour, project manager on Galactic Ruler. We did answer some questions last time, but our first question went pretty deep pretty fast. Hopefully today we'll get through a couple more of them. Do you want me to read the first question on this one? Okay, let's I'll dive take in. It so, Zenitrenium says, will it be possible to construct sci-fi buildings slash infrastructure, specifically shield generators, orbital bombardment bunkers, warp interdictors, jump gates, planetary defense guns, can be units as well, they suggest. Uh, so this is stuff we actually already have some of the groundwork in place for a few of these for orbital defenses. I don't remember if it's active or not yet, but that is something that we intend to have. Warp interdictors, I'm not entirely sure. Some of this stuff is possible. Uh, in the tech tree already, we have a suggestion of warp detection. So you can at least have some warning before enemy ships arrive in. And we brainstormed ideas that we might be able to force arriving ships to arrive randomly. One of the mechanics we use in the game right now is when you FTL into a system you've never explored before, you arrive at a random location. Once you've explored it, you can choose where to arrive in it, but that arriving at a random location, we feel that it's a good representation of the fact that exploration has some uncertainty to it. Other buildings, I don't know, any of these in particular that stood out to you, George, as stuff that we would want to have? And there's certainly some, uh, I mean, right now in early access, the choice of what you can build, and especially in the space, the orbital level is a little limited, and so we're looking for some ideas that would help. Things like maybe a shield generator, orbital, orbital bombardment, you know, having units that have those capabilities, those are definitely things we want to take a look at and maybe prioritize as what would be best for gameplay, what some of our players would find more interesting. Uh, the defense guns being another one. Some of them, and this might get into another set of questions, is things like uh, jump gates. There was the idea of having you know, jump gates in space or having even jump gates on the planet, like stargates on a planet that units can go from system to system. And this is an area, again, you know, our engine could support it, but I think it gets a little bit dangerous because you don't want to have you know, 20 different ways for units to get a, you know, pop around. You know, that could be confusing from the gameplay standpoint. It can be confusing from how, how you play the game. Are you, are you going to defend against an FPL a fleet coming in, or are you going to be on your planet you know, defending against somebody popping down a Stargate and, and sending out thousands of units from the Stargate? You know, does that sort of gameplay make sense? You know, some of these might actually be cool ideas to be far down the tech tree, that you might have to you know, be worried that you know, somebody who gets far down the tech tree might develop some of these technologies, but it could be unbalancing to the game. And some of this is also going to be limited by the lore in the game, that we've had limited opportunities so far. We've been deeply uh, invested in getting the mechanics, the user interface, and some of those basic things in. So some of the backstory that we intend isn't really out there much yet. And there are some limits that we're going to want based on the situation we want to put the player in. Because there is ultimately, while we want a lot of freeform play, we do want there to be a bit of a storyline to this, some stuff that's going to set limits on what the player expects to be able to do. And we have another question here from uh, uh, Masadi. One thing I'd like to see, if even possible, added to the game is a system that will create unit masses. Um, this gets back to our ancient discussion from Supreme War 2010 about unit hierarchies and how to build them. We are trying to do some things. We are working on concepts of fleets at the you know, galactic system and that even that is having some design issues. But the idea of uh, how to you know, be able to combine units automatically or manually has always had a lot of uh, user interface issues of adding complexity and making the game much more difficult to, to play without a micromanaging feel. I think it's also important to point out that when a lot of users come to us with ideas for clustering units, what Masadi says here further on about having a hex full of units and the next hexes and being able to make the move as one, when we look at how that would be implemented, it ends up being the battle group system that exists already. And when we talk about the fleet system, we are considering maybe that is just an evolution of battle groups to make that more effective. That in the game right now, you can select a sequence of units, you can give them a battle group so that there's a hotkey attached to them, you can rename that battle group so that you, looking at your list, know what that contains, and we even allow you to make them move at common speed. And there's been a few other small improvements suggested to it, but I, I'm, unless we come up with some huge big 
revolutionary idea. So far, the battle groups really do seem to meet. When we get watching people play the game and ask for specific feedback on it, the battle groups seem to meet a lot of the need around hierarchy. So I still feel that there's some of the other features that are being asked for that simply rank higher in priority than some of those things would. Yeah, and then starting with uh, you know Supreme Lord 2020, then 36, and the Ultimate, you know, we've done a lot of evolution on battle groups and added a lot of features to them. You know, they can be automatically created with one button. They can you can do things such as filtering units and adding them to battle groups by unit, class, or type. So we have done things, but again, some of that complexity, even our, some of our experienced players don't even know existed. And uh, um, when we point out to them, oh, there was there's already a button for that, uh, they said, oh, I didn't even know that. So there's this balance between the complexity and uh, you know what we're trying to accomplish and battle groups you know does a uh, does a lot of things and i think we're going to wrap on on that for today so well, i'll give a teaser on what's coming next because you mentioned complexity and i've looked ahead at some of the some of the questions coming up next time will be around how much complexity should there be in the game because that has come up a few times so yeah we'll talk about that in the next video so thanks for joining us and again you know um, post your own questions on discord uh, battle VG forums uh, on the Steam community. We are always there looking for uh, feedback and uh, questions and uh, looking to answer any questions that you have. And if you use that hashtag GRQ, it'll stand out to us so that we can find it specifically and we'll see if we can get your question into one of our videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.